Welcome, welcome, welcome to this new video of a customization and review in GTA. Today we're going to be customizing and reviewing the Anis Paragon R. Now look at this bad boy, it's looking like a bogey right about now because when I spawned it in it was just fucking bright green. God knows why, horrible colour for this car, <laughs> but on the outset it looks awesome aside the colour, you know, but it's, it's, it's a car in GTA, nothing crazy. It kind of looks like a Bentley, but you know, it's nice looking. I'm not going to slate it. We're going to get into the video and see how we can customize it and obviously give it a little drive before I fucking slate it, you know? So as always, we're going to start this video with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes and grab the race brakes for the bumper, blah, 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 front bumper. Loads of options for the front bumper, which is awesome. Um, but it doesn't look like... Oh, no, it does. The GT, I was about to say it doesn't look like much is going to change. But again, as usual, <laughs> I'm eating my words, which is cool. Um, but that's it. That's as far as it goes. Just just the little extensions on the... Okay, yep. Mm -hmm. That looks awesome, though. The carbon race bumper. I'm digging that. Let's get it because it's the most outrageous one there is. So we're going to go for it. For the rear bumper, we only get three additional. Uh, so we've got a color code, the secondary, and also a carbon. I'm going to go with the carbon. It ties in nicely with the front then. Next, we've got the engine. We're going to get a level four engine upgrade. Then we've got the exhaust. We've got five additional options for the exhausts. Um, so the first and the second look pretty much the same. Just a color change. Same again, but we've got chrome ones and titanium is again the big balls actually look pretty sweet and then we've got the race exhaust which are even bigger so we're gonna go with those bad boys next we're gonna move to the grill the stock grill actually looks quite nice but we're gonna go with the chrome grill let's have a look and then we've got the exposed intercooler that looks insane man looks crazy on a car like this but i think we're gonna go for it maybe <laughs> maybe <laughs> who knows we've got the monster oh shit son monster intercooler so we've got a rally one and a monster one. There's not really that much size difference, really, is it? What the fuck? We'll go over the rally in a cooler, though. I think that one looks a little bit nicer. Next, we're going to move to the hood. Hopefully, we'll get some crazy ass options for this as well. I'm going to try and make this look as nuts as possible, I think. Maybe even keep the green. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, so, we've got the carbon all hood. Then, we've got some carbon vents. Uh, secondary with the carbon vents and the carbon oil hood as well. Oh, we've got some bonnet pins on this one. That looks pretty cool with a really deep vent in the center. I'm actually really liking that one. It looks awesome. Uh, same but with the carbon insert. So a lot of these are different variants of each other. So we get like this, but we get a secondary carbon, primary carbon, then the secondary. You know what I mean? So it's pretty much the same fucking bonnet, but um, different inserts and different colors here and there. But, you know, it is what it is. It's GTA after all. Um, but I actually really liked the primary race hood. So we're going to grab that bad boy. Then we're going to skip the horn lights. We're going to get the Xeon headlights. Next, we're going to move on to the liveries. So we've got a clean green. <laughs> clean green. I actually really like that, man. <laughs> I actually don't think that's too bad. And I like it, how it goes around the carbon bit as well. Uh, carbon bumper as well. It looks pretty sweet. We've got the Yeti camo. Oh, my God. God, we're going into... F what the fuck is that? Holy shit, man. What a livery to have on a car like this. That is insane. That's that insane. I might just get it. <laughs> I might just get it. That one's not great. I don't really like that one. But with the green on the green, like this one, and the green on the green on the yellow, <laughs> I think that actually look all right. That kind of makes this green work. If, if that makes sense. Uh, these ones are a little bit too nuts for me. Um, but I like the stripes. And then we've got this one, which ties it all in. And I think it looks all right, you know? But I might go with that bad boy as well, the Spitfire or the Spitting Fire. Yeah, I'm gonna go Spitting Fire. Let's just add that. Uh, then we've got the respray. We are gonna go primary matte so we can take that shine off it. There we go, matte gray. And it dulls it up a little bit. It looks a little bit more authentic. So it looks pretty sweet. Secondary color will go, go the same with matte gray. So then we get the option for a roll cage, which I think we are going to get. I'm just going to go with the most expensive one. We're going to go cage with a drag seats. For the roof, 
we can carbon it up or secondary color um, but because we've obviously got a livery that covers the whole of the car we can't see it change so we're just going to stay stock for the roof then we get the option for side skirts so we're going to go primary uh, and it's not actually changing it um, because of the livery again so we're just going to stay stock spoiler so we've got the sports wing the low gt the race wing and the endurance wing endurance why not we've already gone fucking too far to turn back on this car now. <laughs> we've gone beyond that's what we've gone uh, so we might as well just go fucking fill out with it sun strips we've got the primary and the secondary but again because of the livery we get this weird sort of like metal panel livery sun strip that makes sense so we're going to say stay none for the sun strip suspension we are going to slam it with competition transmission we're going to get a race transmission turbo we're going to get the turbo tuning for the wheels we're going to grab i don't know i actually really like these wheels i'm just going to stay stock for the wheels there's no you know aftermarket wheels which look nicer um windows we are going to get the light smoke window tint but i'm not going to finish it right there i am going to change this color because even though i wanted to go a little bit a little bit crazy with this i think i've gone too far so i'm gonna go livery and i'm gonna get the other one that i liked which was the digital sprunk and change the respray color to primary classic but i'm gonna get like a racing green which is i think it's uh, a dark green so we've got the racing green we'll go grab that one it's like a british racing racing green which i really like and that is it my dudes so as we come out you can see that the Paragon R is actually looking pretty naughty, if I do say so myself. It actually looks like a little little British racer, if that's even a thing. But um, yeah, the original livery that I did have on this, I thought that was a little bit weird, uh, the spit and fire. So I thought I'd go for it anyway, because I've, I was feeling a little bit fucking stupid at the time. <laughs> so I went for it. It did look pretty sweet, but... I also had a little bit of a soft spot for this for this um, livery, and I'm actually really digging it. I think it actually looks quite quite cool. It's not going to be to everybody's taste, um, but I like it, man. The customizations on this car aren't spectacular, but they're okay, you know. Um, so let's have a little drive and see how it, how it drives. So straight off the bat, it does actually feel like it pulls quite nicely. It sounds awesome. It can chuck itself into the corners. It actually feels really nice. You know, I've done a customization review video on the on the Truffade Thrax. And it, this feels loads better than that. 100% better. The handling just feels like it sticks in. It feels faster. Uh, and just comparing it to the Thrax, this is going to be definitely a purchase over that. Because I think it's better looking. The styling of it is nicer. The customization isn't obviously that great, but it is definitely better. And um, it's quicker. It feel well, it feels quicker at least. And the handling is definitely better than than what the Thrax is. So I'm quite impressed with this car. Um, like I said, the styling of it, like what I've done to it, isn't going to be to everybody's taste. But I like it. I enjoy it. You know, you've got to have fun in this game, and if you can't make a crazy ass looking vehicle, what's the point of even playing GTA, you know? Um, but on that note, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please smash that like button. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 videos like this? And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.